Good news, everyone! I feel like that professor from the cartoon Futurama, I don't know if you guys ever seen this. Good Everyone. Auto DS, which is a platform that allows you to automate your Facebook Marketplace and eBay dropshipping, released a new update for Facebook Marketplace and it allows for the full automation regarding your price monitoring and stock monitoring. Meaning, whenever there's a price change on your supplier website, like Walmart or Amazon or any other websites you use, it will reflect that automatically on your listing on Facebook Marketplace. So, if item go out of stock on Walmart and then you're scared that someone will purchase from you on Facebook Marketplace in the meantime that there's no, it's not available on Walmart, you don't have to worry anymore because the software automatically adjusts that change. There's a new Chrome extension. I'm going to talk about it in a minute. This Chrome extension allows to track and reprice and restock everything that's missing. So this video is going to be a follow up to my previous video where I talk about how to set up AutoDS for Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. In the previous video, we didn't have a full automation at the time of making that video, but now we do. We have the automatic repricing and restocking. So if you've seen the previous video, I guess you got to watch this one as well because there are a few changes that you need to be aware of and I'm going to show you the process of uploading listings and how to get this new extension and basically all the instructions you need. So let me go on my laptop and I'm going to share my screen. Okay, so this is the main dashboard of AutoDS. You can create your account by using my link below. If you use my link, you will get 30 days for $1. So it's a good deal if you want to test out this program, if it works, if it not. What this software does is basically allows you to put listings into your system, which is this one right here. It will, it will track and reprice and restock all the listings for you. And I'm going to show you how to do it. So um, this is the main dashboard, but you're going to need one more thing. Once you create an account, you need to get the Chrome extension for this to work, for this full automation to work. So I'm going to go to Chrome Web Store right here. And I'm going to type in auto DS. Okay, I'm going to click enter. As a, and as you can see, there are three different um, Chrome extensions. Uh, one is for eBay, one is for uh, the one that they used in the past. And then this one right here, Facebook Marketplace Dropshipping Helper. This is the one that you need for Facebook Marketplace. And this is the one we're going to download. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to add to Chrome. And as you can see, this little Chrome extension right up here, right here in the in the corner. This extension is basically tracking all the information that's happening on your supplier website and is moving that information to your Facebook marketplace listing. So you need to have this Chrome extension on in order for this to work. I have the extension and I'm going to go back here to the main dashboard. OK, so the first thing you're going to do, you will have to establish a store. I already have a test store on my test account right here. I just call it Facebook. But if you want to add a new store, just click uh, add store. And then it's going to ask you what type of store you want to add. We're trying to add Facebook store. So I'm going to click on Facebook. And as a name, I'm just going to put it test. OK, just to recognize that I'm talking about different store. Oh, I got a message that I only can use one account. So uh, I already have a test. This is the test account that I use. So I already have a Facebook account established. So uh, I'm going to go back here. You see where it says Facebook. This is my draft account that I'm using. So let's just use this one for, as an example. OK, now I have to go back to the extension right here and right here it's asking me to pick the store and since i only have one because it, i could not create another one this is it this is the one sync range so um i guess this has to do with how often do you want to synchronize it obviously i want to do it at least once a day so i'm going to leave 24 hours it gives you the options to seven days i'm not sure what the all button means but i'm just assuming that this is the time frame that it's, it's going to take for the sync. So I want to sync it, synchronize it every, every day pretty much. So I'm going to click on sync now. And by default, it took me to the logs page. So the log page is basically showing you the, the sync data. So if you want to track when was the last sync and what was sync, this is the place that you want to uh, track all of this information. I believe if you click on the, the tab, it will allow you to click on logs right here and then we'll take you to this website as well. OK, also something that I just discovered. I'm sorry, guys, I'm learning about this program with you right now. So 
once you have this sync range established click on this gear icon right here and then it's asking you which store you want to update so the one I, I i've established earlier right and it's asking you how often you want to synchronize it so there are a few options one hour three hours 12 hours 24 hours so i want to do it every hour i want to have this information updated as soon as there is a change on my supplier website so i want this to be updated every hour also apparently i heard from many other people that follow me that if you like this video your listings will get double more views i don't know if it's true but if you don't try if you don't like this video you will never find out so how about you try it my friend how about you like it and find out for yourself all right all right all right that was a joke but yeah like it and join our facebook group the way of entrepreneur where we discuss dropshipping etc but let's get back to auto ds all right so i have my sync on so from now on all my listings will get basically tracked but I'm going to show you a process of uploading a listing into this system and then I'm going to show you how the system tracks this on Facebook Marketplace. So let's assume that I've done my product research and on Walmart and I want to list this item. By the way, if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've been really hard on this item. I've been selling a lot of these items and I'm using Honey. Honey gives you, look at this. They, uh, they offered to give me $2.49 if I purchase this item. So that's basically what 10% of uh, profit just by using honey so if you don't have honey I'm not affiliated with honey I'm not sure if they have affiliate program but I'm using honey because of reasons like this that's basically 10% more profit for me if I use this so if I would click on this I would get this 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 amount of cash back that I can later on ca cash out but anyway let's assume I want to use this item okay let's assume I want to list this item on my Facebook marketplace store so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the link, right? And I'm going to go back to AutoDS dashboard and I'm going to click on add products. So the first step is to add product to AutoDS and then from AutoDS, we're going to copy the information. The program will copy for you and list it on your Facebook marketplace. But yeah, let's add the item. So I'm going to click on add products. And here you can you can upload multiple products at once you don't have to do just one but in our example we're just gonna do one all you have to do is just if you have multiple so just paste the link and if you have a second one just click enter and add another one but again I only have one product just only this one ten for this example so I'm gonna leave it one uh, then you're gonna click add as a draft all right here it's it's giving me the message that it item is being added to draft if I want to see the progress, I can just click on this button right here and it will show me if the item is being processed. So uh, right now I'm in my draft. The item is still being processed. I'm just waiting for it to show up. So my item show up right here in the draft. So when the item is in a draft, it's basically this is the process when you create a draft that you're going to use later and post it on your Facebook marketplace. So you have to prepare the listings, change images, edit keywords etc we're gonna briefly do it so i'm gonna give you an idea what the process is like so you see once i click on the item it opens up a bunch of different options okay so title this is where i edit the title again i'm not gonna go over this a little bit but you know you get the idea i can add words here or remove words but i'm not gonna do it i have other videos about titles go ahead and check them out i'm gonna link one right here yeah i can edit the the country it's coming from brand I can put the different city if I want. Always use a big city like Los Angeles, New York, Atlanta, Chicago, etc. Uh, I want to have stock monitoring on, price monitoring on, and auto order. I don't think this is working for Facebook Marketplace, but it works for eBay. But anyway, just make sure that you have these three on. Description. This is where you added the description the way you want it. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, variant. This is where you added the variants. So variants are basically, you know, like if there are different colors or if there are any different sizes of your items. So you added the variants here. In this case, we only have one variant. It's just one tenth. I'm going to leave it as it is. 
we're going to go back to variant because this there's something that i want to show you images this is where you added images so you set up which one is the main image you can rotate them you can resize them you can delete images if you want a good thing about auto eds is that they save these images on their server so because of that facebook marketplace is not able to track your suppliers they don't know it's coming from walmart they think it's coming from like a different platform so the metadata from your supplier is removed okay so once you're done with images description and the title click on save and import and your item will get imported into products right here so you see i already imported my my tent and it's showing up in my product tabs which is right here the product tab is basically a list of all your items it's like a track sheet that tracks all your items that you have sourced and it's going to show you where are they on your Facebook marketplace and where are they on your supplier website? If I just click here on the on this tab, it will take me directly to my supplier website. Then that way, whenever I have an order for this item, I just go back here, find the item and click easily on the on the icon and it will take me directly to my supplier website and the link to to the to the item you're not done you have to do one more thing you have to insert this listing into facebook marketplace and i'm going to show you how to do it so what you need to do is click on this button right here where it says more options and then click on edit and then click on variant go back to variants right here and this icon this like little square right here will show up what you have to do is click on this little square and what this square does is basically copying your listing, right? And when it's copied, I can go to Facebook Marketplace and click on create new listings right here. Okay, so I'm going to click on create a new listing, items for sale. And right here, this tab will show up that allows you to click on paste info from AutoDS. Actually, this is kind of new for me. I never seen this before. Okay, so after doing some research, I find out that this tab allows you to track all the items that are not posted yet on Facebook Marketplace, which is really cool. So if you want to find just a listing that is, is an auto DS, but it's not listed here yet, you can just select this from here and then you'll click on paste info from auto DS. But I'm not going to do this right now. I'm going to try to post that tent that I, I found earlier. Uh, you see, I, I learn about all of this as I go with you. So let me find the tent and then I'm going to click on past info from AutoDS. All right, so I click on past info from AutoDS. Now I'm just waiting for the program to auto populate all the information. As you can see, the description is already here. The images I'm pulling up right as well. I just give it a moment to see how they load up. Here you go. So I have my images. If I scroll down, I can see it pull up the price. It didn't get the category, but I can't, I don't think I set up the category. That's why the condition new, description, all the good stuff are here. The available quantity is one. That's what I set up in my settings to have a quantity to be one. And there's some other information that I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to hide it from friends because I don't want them to see I'm listing this. And I'm going to click on next. It's asking me to pick a city. I'm going to pick Los Angeles. And I'm going to pick on shipping only. And I'm going to use my own shipping. Shipping rate $0. Turn on, shi turn on free shippings for buyers. Here you go. All right. Next. This is asking me about offers. I don't deal with offers. I don't really mess with offers. I'm just going to leave it as it is and click next. And now all I have to do is just click publish. And this listing will show up on the Facebook marketplace on my account. And that's it. From now on, I will have automatic tracking for my listings. Let's say the item price rise up by $1, it costs $25.94 now. It will automatically adjust to Facebook marketplace price. So if I have a 30% upcharge, you know, it will charge 130% of $25.94 instead of $24.94. It's all automatic. You don't have to do anything. It's pretty, pretty cool and pretty, pretty sweet. All right. So now you know how to work the AutoDS full automation. The link for it is in the description. It's an affiliate link where you will get one month for $1. So, you know, it doesn't hurt to try. You're only going to spend $1 for 30 days. It's worth to see it if you like it or not. There's a lot of different softwares that you can use. 
I've tried most of them, but I always go back to AutoDS. The main reason why I do it is because it supports eBay and Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, which is basically what I do. But go ahead and check out other links as well. I have a link to Zik Analytics, which is a product research tool that I also use. As always, join our Facebook group, subscribe to my channel. I will see you on the next one, okay? I'm going out, guys. It's really nice outside. I wanna, I wanna go be, be outside. So this is it. See ya.